Hello. So I'd like to talk today about what yoga is really about. And it's a very short talk, so it won't take up much of your time. Yoga, as most of you know, is the Sanskrit um, for meaning to come together, yuj, to unite. And yoga is about coming into complete union and equilibrium. So that doesn't just mean the body. It means the body, the emotions, the mind, and the spiritual self. Originally, it was taught to prepubescent boys in India who were preparing to do their meditation practice. And they needed to help the body be able to sit properly and also to have best foundation, best preparation for the meditation practices. So a lot of the poses are not actually designed um, for women's bodies and they're not designed for older people. So they have been uh, adapted over time so that we can get the best benefit from them, even though we're not pubescent young boys. So I hope that makes sense. Also, another interesting fact about the yoga poses is that not a lot of people who are practicing it in a casual way know that each yoga pose has specific benefits emotionally. So the forward bends, for example, are very soothing to calm the system down if you're feeling frantic and stressed. The back bends energize. So you're opening the spine along the front line, energizing, uplifting, um, bringing more vitality into the system. But actually each pose has a specific emotional quality, a specific mental quality, and a specific spiritual quality. So it's not just about tendons, ligaments, joints, um, moving muscles, rearranging organs. As you know, a lot of the yoga poses are really good for massaging internal organs, increasing lubrication to the joints, and allowing the body to stretch in ways that normally it doesn't do, so it's got used to seizing up. So a good yoga practice includes a variety of all the different poses that will help the sides, the front, the back, stability, poise, balance, opening the spine, flexing, and really rejuvenating the discs of the spine, including working on the hands and the feet, going through each joint in turn. So once you're used to doing yoga poses, you can actually select a, a pattern, a sequence of yoga that will suit you for that day. Now, of course, when you go to a class, a teacher will be teaching six, 12, 20, maybe even 100 people in one class. So she can't, so he or she can't absolutely tailor it specifically for you. So it's helpful sometimes to think it through for yourself. What do I need this particular yoga session? Personally, I do yoga not just to help the body um, feel in most balance, toned, healthy, uh, rejuvenated, but I also do it for the emotional benefits, to feel steady, to feel calm, to feel grounded, to feel able to take life's knocks, to feel happier in myself and to feel more able to cope a more steady equilibrium. So that's my little talk over today. I hope that's helped you.